All right, we're going to open up the Water and Sewer Commission's meeting. It's June 8th at uh, 310. June 7th. And so we're gods of North Village Booster Pump decision. June 7th. Oh. June 7th. June 7th, I'm sorry. So I'm just... Can we maybe introduce ourselves so I know yep. where we're going? Right yeah. yeah, I'm Dennis Boucher with uh, Stantec. Gina Britton with Stantec. Uh, Tim Barlow, contractor for North Village. You know, Rebecca, contractor for North Village. Ed Tipley, North Village. I'm Bob Josie, Douglas Water Sewer Commission. Keith Blunny has water and sewer. Call him Water Sewer Commission. Bob Sullivan, Systems Manager, and Douglas Water Sewer Commission. All right. So, we're here to discuss the um, engineering. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So we, I, if, if I could just give a background as to where I think we are on yep. this. Um, w when we were doing the uh, comp permit originally, and Colin, you probably remember because you're on the ZBA at the time. Um, that was a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We were a lot younger. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so um, MST reviewed the. Um, uh, the water and the wastewater aspects of it, and based upon uh, FST's uh, comments at the time, the project was different at the time. It was uh, townhouses and single families, uh, but uh, they had some questions and concerns about uh, the uh, water lines in uh, in North Street, uh, and so based on their comments. And also on the waste on the study that, that I guess FST did uh, for the town in 2004 about that whole industrial area with the loop of the, uh, you know with the 12-inch lines uh, and recommendations for water towers and the rest, uh, we reviewed that and reviewed their comments, and then we consulted with Stantec, who was representing us at the time, and they. They made certain recommendations in terms of how to redesign the project, uh, going from triplex condominiums down to duplex, which basically puts it in the same category as one and two family houses, uh, distance between buildings. Uh, so we, we made those changes, and then we proposed the to, um, uh, uh, to gift over to the town the site for the water tower, because two of the uh, two of the areas that, that FST had identified for a water tower parcel were on our parcel. The other two parcels were on um, uh, on the, the gravel pit, but they weren't there anymore because they'd taken them down. So basically we had the only two high parcels in the, in the spot. So, so uh, that's how the deal was struck, and, and that the, all of that was incorporated in the MOU and then subsequently in the comprehensive program. So uh, that's where it was. Okay. Uh, we've connected, you know, as you know, we built the project, uh, built the road, connected the water sewer, put in the pump station, uh, connected the, you know, the water. Uh, and so we're at the point where we need to put in the, the water booster that we had agreed to put in. If, and, and that it was understood that that was uh, we would do that if the water tower wasn't built by the time we began construction. Um, I'm not sure what the, the time frame was for the water commissioners or for, but you know what, what was anticipated was at some point the town was going to have to upgrade their infrastructure in order to serve any kind of industrial development that would have been over on, the, on Pines Pit. So uh, I think the expectation was that there'd be some work by the town to, to do that. So, uh, so here we are, and, and we want to uh, put in the booster, um, comply with the permit, and so we approached Stantec uh, to design that for us, and we we're told, well, you know, Stantec now represents the town because of, because of the merger with FST, and so really can't get involved, but, you know, it, it just seemed to make the most sense to deal with one engineering firm, the one that, that we had when we when we were getting the comp permit and the one that you continue to use. So that's our goal. I mean, we just want somebody to tell us what it is we need to put in up there uh, so, we can, so we can proceed and, and put it in. And so that's where we are at this point. 
the uh, I know you talked about the, the waterline we've done, but you've, you've been following the whole issue we had down there with pines and when they yeah. started that whole thing and they couldn't they couldn't yeah. There's some landowners that want to sell. Yeah, no, I know. So I know, that's, I know. That's, that's it's, been it it says that. hasn't, yeah, it's yeah. stalled and hasn't right. happened. Right. You know, whether it will or not, who knows. Okay. Um, you have to get all those people you know. to agree to sell their property. Mine's still, they're still mining, so you still got quite a few. Right. In the buy, mm -hmm. yes. But you were putting in a, a, the idea was to put, what, what happened in, in, I guess the, you were supposed to upgrade the line for the shell station? It's done. It's yeah. done. That's so that's a time. That's a 12-inch line now, or that's six, 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 12, 12, yeah. 12. And that goes down to the. That only goes to. It's, it's the, at the uh, corner of the parking Guilford. lot from the mill, right, up to the shell station, right. So there's right. still a lack in between from this intersection to that one, right. right. So this is being done, and the grid work is done. Right. The section. The section. Just the section. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And Main Street was done not too long ago. Now we put a 16-inch line down to Main Street. Right. Down to the school. Yeah. Uh, project. Yeah, it's getting there. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Uh, and so, I mean, I understand that it's it's in your cap in the capital improvement thing. It's waiting for the funding. Two thousand nineteen. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? Uh, you know, I'd I mean, like to say get everything going, and put it right in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, clearly the people with vote for it. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. And the money's appropriated. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. at some point, it needs it needs to get done. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah. The uh, selectmen are really working hard on that yeah. currently to get the you know push for that kind of development. Right. Hopefully that. Right. Yeah, but they got to spend the money at the structure as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I think in terms of, of getting money from the state, the fact that that it's connected to an affordable housing project is a is a benefit in, the, in terms of you know making a grant application. So yeah. you know, we'll cooperate however we can. We just you know again, um, we just want to keep building. Right. That is so the issue, I guess, is to get back to the, the topic of. Uh, I don't, I, so. I don't believe there's any grants or funding or anything for water means right now, is it? Oh, yeah, there is. It's SRF money. SRF, it's yeah. It's not a grant, though. It's just a loan. It's a loan. It's a loan, yeah. Which I'm not necessarily on for. I'd rather just take the loan yourself and get it done and cut all the tape that you have to deal with SRF with. Yeah. <laughs> it's Are not you? always a given to, yeah. to get it, either. Yeah. It's, a, it's an application. Last time they offered us money was after the deadline. Right. And we had to say that it was approved at town meeting and they wouldn't wait. They said, no, it has to be by this date. We didn't have a town meeting until November, so it's kind of a waste of our time. But <laughs> that was the booster. Yeah. yeah. So what, what do we see as the pros and the cons of, of, of uh, Stantec representing well, the, the town and actually? The first thing I'd like to say is I was not aware that Stantec was involved previously. Gina and I both worked for Face Boffin and Thorndike, and like I said, we always represented the town on issues um, with developers or you know, with improvements or with that, those Pretty things. Everything is a lot Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, like I said, my only concern was um, we've always represented the town, and I just wanted to make sure that we represent the town in your best interest so that um, if the developer chooses this type of a station with this type of equipment in it and the town says no we want to have this in the station versus this um, well, I think that's what we lean on we lean on right, right. that's why right. we hired yeah. but, yeah, but in this sure. case yeah. this case we're working for the developer mm -hmm. But trying to represent the town. Right. If 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 the developer well, doesn't have a problem with that, and the town doesn't have a problem with that, I just feel at some point we could be I, we Stantec could be sitting on both sides of the table, trying to represent the town, and trying to represent the developer. What what we're looking for are the design parameters for this booster. I mean, we'll, we'll go out and have it uh, uh, supplied by someone else, obviously. But, uh, um, you know, and, and I think the parameters of it are pretty much set forward within the terms of the comprehensive permit in terms of what, what's required. So, you know, we're, our position is we're happy if, you know, you tell us what, what you want, and, uh, you know, as long as it complies with the, with the, with the comp permit, we're, ha we're happy to 
to provide it. Right. And, uh, you, know, and you see, I'm going to sit with well, Bob, and I'm going to say, Bob, what do you want in this station? What type of materials do you want? Right. So when, when I come back and I say I want the Cadillac system, and all the bells and whistles, and you guys say, well, no, we don't want to pay for all well, the extra. Well, you're going to approve That's whatever you approve. <clears throat> it's in the comp you know, it, You have last say and last bite at the Apple to approve the booster station. So if I go out and design a Hyundai booster station, yep. and I'm going to bring it to you, and you're going to say that's no good anyways. So we're at the same point. I mean, there should be a level of trust and cooperation between us where you're not going to take total advantage of me. And I, I have faith in that. I thought the pump station was already designed. No. No. I, I shouldn't <coughs> answer that. No. Not that Stand I answer no. <laughs> no, the, In this booster station, is, is this for domestic service or fire? fire. Just fire. fire. Just fire. fire. But that's part of my concern is you design it for fire, but what are the parameters that trigger it to start? Water. How does it run? No, that's, that's why, why we need somebody design. to design it. Yeah. We don't know that either. Yeah. Okay. That's what we would design. Right. So right. Based, based on discussions with you. Right. For the so, you know, essentially it's, it, a, it's a fire booster that's capable of yeah. delivering 750, 750 gallons it, it, per minute. Have there been discussions PSI. with the fire chief? Do you know what the required <laughs> fire demand is? That, that is the required. That's the the uh, what is it? The ISO or the uh, yeah. yeah yeah. That is that's the required, the required fire demand for what what is the 750 I'm sorry. At, at 20 psi, and again that's in the comp permit, and it was based on all of those discussions that we had when we did the comp permit that the the comp permit was written. So yeah. the comp permit provides that you know we would provide if the water tower is not in. Uh, the other option that it, that it also provided it was that if, if the water tower was in the process of being constructed that we would contribute $82,000 uh, to the town uh, for the construction of the water tower. And, you know, again, if the town wants to... Without a tank sitting there, I still have concerns about whether or not the town can provide 750 gallons a minute. And that's my concern is... If There's always been low pressure problems in that area. Uh, the pipe up North Street, it really isn't of sufficient size. Um, or condition for that matter. So, so in my opinion, we either upgrade the pipe on North Street to a larger size, or we build a water storage tank to provide right. the required fire volume. But with DEP's newer rules, since you proposed your plan, they say no more than three to five days storage now, and we already have that. Yeah. So I Understood. can't add more. <laughs> I can't add another storage tank until we get a lot more growth. <clears throat> so was any of this? This I'm sure this didn't just get dropped out. I mean, this must have been all been calculated out before and before the project could have. I wasn't out. here when any but, of this took place. Well, when so was when the was calculations this? that FST did at the time said that if there was a 12 inch line in North Street, there'd be. 750 gallons per minute at, at, at 20 psi. Um, that's with no booster station or tank. That's, that's, that's with, with nothing. That's with no booster station or tank. Uh, and again, that's so, so. What we proposed, and you know, we can't <laughs> control what what the town does in terms of upgrading its its water lines. But that's the reason we proposed giving the town, and we gave the town the land. Yeah, I've the read town owns that. the land mm -hmm. to put in the water tower. <coughs> yeah. uh, and said that we would do I'm the sure booster pump. <laughs> that, was, uh, so that was your report. So. <laughs> to, do, to do the fire. And from what I understand, a, a booster pump can be designed to, to, to do the fire. It's not going to have a great effect on, on what's down gradient from it. Uh, uh, in, in terms of the, you know, coming off of an 8-inch line, you're going to be drawing the water out of the 8-inch line. So, again, we'll, we'll do whatever you guys want. We just need a decision as to what you want. Right. So, well, my concern, I mean, like I said, I wasn't here when any of this went through. Um, FST did a report. I'm not positive. It says it'll provide the, the 750 with a 12-inch line. I saw some stuff on a 16-inch line. I saw some on a 12. Um, but now you're saying that they approved to put in a pump station saying that It'll be capable of doing it once the town upgrades their stuff. 
But if we upgraded a 12 inch and it provided sufficient flow, why would they even consider putting in a pump station? Because if that's the case, you don't need a pump station. When we upgrade, you'll have it. So I don't understand why they say put in a pump station so that when the town upgrades their stuff, it'll be able to work. And if you put in a pump station that's capable of producing 750 gallons a minute and we have AC pipe and everything else going up North Street, so eight well, inch, if it pumps, if that pump turns on, I mean, you could collapse AC pipe or, you know, you, you're going to drain it, it's going to drop below 20 PSI, which puts us in a violation, which it states right in the regulations, you can't put a pump station in that's going to cause a negative pressure on the, the water lines feeding into your pump station. So what are you proposing? Well, I can't propose anything. This was all approved before I got here, but I'm just saying that's why I don't want to have our engineers look at it and say this will work or design you a pump station and then have our engineers say, well, it'll work because we designed it, but it can't work because you can't really meet the regulations. Your engineers right. still approve it. So, <clears throat> so why it's yeah. still the so, same. You have the so last say. Why don't we have Stantec <laughs> tell us what, what their recommendations are? I mean, doesn't that make sense? Well, I would bet that their recommendation would be to upgrade the line going up North Street, which... Right. I don't think you're prepared to agree to. Well, that's what this well, is. Well, we'll agree to it. We're not going to pay for it, but we'll agree to yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can find someone that's going to pay for it, we're all in agreement. <laughs> uh, <coughs> so that's my concern. Yeah, we can make it. But like same, I said, we're if we were to do those upgrades, we're in the same fire protection yeah, we will. issue yeah, okay. that you have on Pond Street. We have the same pressure. Uh, yeah, we have the same gallons per minute that you have for everything on Pond Street, everything on North Street. You know, everything that's served by that eight inch line. Well, you can't so, be at the same as Pond because your, your yeah. elevation is higher. No, no it is. It, it, You're at the exact elevation as Pond Street? No, we're not at the exact, exact, eleva that. We're not at the exact <laughs> elevation, but our, our, the testing is consistent with your, your, your hydrant test uh, uh, off of Pond Street. So it's, it's basically the same issue. So if the town wants to, if the town is concerned with the fire protection in that, that area of town. That, I mean, that really is the fire chief. Yeah, I'm not concerned with the fire protection I mean, as far as at all, for, to be honest with you, because that's not my department. We'll look at the domestic side, so the fire stuff, <clears> I think, is, that's a different. Yeah, we have plenty of domestic water. Yeah, yeah I, would <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't have you put in a booster pump station that says, we're going to put this in in case in the future you guys put a line in that'll be sufficient. To we, make we, it work. We, we understand all this. <clears throat> what do we do from this point? I want to move forward. I either want to put in what I have to comply with in my permit, which is the booster station, or we can come to agreement on something else. What does that leave us with the... I, I would like to take this 10-year-old report and review it. I can email it back to you. <laughs> we can make, a, we can make a copy right copy. now. You can take it with you. Um, <clears throat> but I had Bill email me all the reports. Um, you guys did all the water ones. and yeah. I guess so ultimately, as far as the, uh, the consultants go, I think it's going to be... I mean, if they're comfortable doing it, then I think we'll, they'll, if they're not comfortable doing it, then they may say we well, <coughs> really don't want to get involved in that, or they'll say, yeah, we're comfortable doing that. Well, they're going to they're gonna make the ultimate decision anyways. I mean, you guys got to approve whatever right. gets designed, right? And so I assume that whatever gets designed, I, I have they, they right. yeah, got to approve. Like I said, I have an email. You know, I agree. If, I agree. I agree. Like yeah, these are the guys we, we got to, you know, I agree. Of stuff, stuff, but I think with things, but <laughs> the issue that I think may arise is that something was designed previous, what they disagreed with, or, and now they're, they're one company, how is that going to, uh, how's that going to weigh out? If there's an issue that they, FST, well, the, identified, the, the, the and, and Stantec didn't identify, and then now they're the same company. It's going to get flushed out either way. That's what we're saying. It's, if there comes, if, if a problem arises, what we owe in the comp permit is a gallon that's cap uh, pump station that's capable of producing 750 gallons per minute. That's what I need designed first. Maybe we start with that. I just want to comply with what's in my permit that the town so how, are you, the how are you going to test that your pump station is capable we're of We're getting way producing? off. We're getting way off. Well, it's not way off. Whenever I have my engineers say, all right, you need to prove that it produces what it says, but I can't let you pull 750 gallons a minute out of the line in, on North Street. And then if it's designed to, I mean, 
it's got to be triggered to turn that booster pump on if there's a fire. But is there? I, does the fire department go turn on? I, if it's based on guess pressure, that will all come out yeah. in the design. I think a simple it's flow a, test, Bob, will tell us what's available up there right now. Right, but you have flow tests that you show in your report. We've done flow tests in the yeah. in the past. That's, yeah. that's in that report. You know, I, I don't just, know. I don't know if any improvements have been made since then. Probably not, but. No. <laughs> The development is is it at full build out right now, or is there more to come? I just no, had that done. Oh. Just what? I just had the flow test done. Oh, yeah, I think oh, that's okay. the same one. This was, yeah, yeah. Just was it any different than the one that was in the report they originally did? Mm -hmm. No, it's the same. And that was done at our hydrant inside the project. So the flow tests are the same. I mean, it says you get about 400 gallons a minute. That's what your report says. Booster station. I, I, I still think uh, it has to be some sort of piping improvements on North Street in order to provide the 750. Right, that's my concern. So, to test if they design it, if, if they design a pump station and you put it in, any requirement for us to sign off, the, our engineers would say you need to prove that it's meeting what, I mean, we had to do it on our own pump station. You know, we wanted it tested. You show us flow tests and everything. I that understand that, that you're not going to meet the flow even with the booster. But this is what we have. <laughs> this is what was agreed upon. <clears throat> this is why we gave away the water tower process. This is why we did the improvements we did inside of our project. In anticipation that someday it was going to be upgraded. And right now, what I want to do is comply with my permit, have this design. Whether it works or not, I guess, is kind of a moot point. And, but I need to move forward. <laughs> but we can't design something that isn't going to work. <laughs> but that isn't yeah. <laughs> understood. But it will work once the 12-inch main is put in. And that's what, it's the car before the horse. I'm supposed to provide this for when that comes. And that's what I'm trying to do. Well, Bob, but you're, you're, you're putting a horse. cart. You're putting a cart where you don't even need. You only need a horse because they then, said then that if, great. You, then if you put a water line in, you're going to get seven. Then great, take the eighty-two thousand dollars. We don't put it <laughs> in. You put that towards the twelve-inch main. I'm fine with that too. So if the, the twelve-inch line was there, then it wouldn't be the pump station. So well, that's what they exactly. said. Exactly. So it's who's on first? Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah, so I guess it's yeah. I mean, we're trying to get funding just to go from Main Street down to North here. Yeah, I haven't gotten to approve any of it. I mean, I need a, I need a new line in Gilboa Street. Right. Well, that's what, $31,000? I don't know, that's, that's 80 just to go across the bridge here. <coughs> but Gilboa Street's another 475 To do what? Something like that. To replace the 6-inch from this intersection down to the get, beginning of the parking lot. I can't get there, no. Oh, so you don't have... That's from the mill. Yeah, it's from the mill. It's 12 yeah, going down, but we need down. to upgrade in between. Right. So don't you have the same problem? Yes. They have. It's been existing since yeah. the beginning of the water system. Yeah, the mill has <coughs> their, own, their own system for uh, fire protection. Yeah. So yeah. they put in a fire mm -hmm. pump but and they pull out of the pond. So. Okay. But, the, but the gas station, the gas station. I don't know that the gas station has The gas idea. station, we extended that line because the gas station's well was Needed polluted. domestic, yeah. 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 It was more of a domestic. It wasn't price, extended for yeah. fire protection. But that, there was, was also talk at the time of extending into, is it Oxbridge? Right. Yeah. 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 That is an Oxbridge. Yeah. It is an Oxbridge. Right. Okay. Yeah. You'd have an industry that would give them domestic. But they're all using water just for cost. Yeah, domestic. So but they they paid for the upgrade. Yeah, they paid the whole thing. Paid the whole thing. Uh, that that whole line from the intersection here up should be 12 inch all the way. Correct. Yeah. And that's what we're putting in the bridge too is 12, right? Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. that provide any benefit when that's in? No. No, it's no. no. just the bottom line. So we got a 16 that comes down Main something. Street. And that's what I wanted to go was 16, but when they did the 16 on Main, See, they I put, put a put six. 16 across the right to the intersection. Yeah, that's what I would have did. But they put a 12, 16 by 12 T 
to come to North Street. So I would have to cut out a section of the 16, put a 16 by 16. No, you wouldn't. Just connect to that 16 by 12 T. That's all. So you want to bottleneck to a 12 and then go yep. back to a 16? Yeah. Hydraulically, that's... <coughs> it's, it's just a short distance. Yeah, it's, but, but the flow uh, just on the pipe. But I thought... I thought we recommended 16 all the way, but I... Well, no, in the recommendations, you had 12, 12 coming okay. down north, which is why, because I kept saying, no, I want to go 16 anyway, and that's what I originally proposed to the town. But then we got a project over here going on, and they were going to replace a section, so we're going to replace anything. We're going to go at least 12. Yeah. And without being able to hang it off the side of the bridge, I probably can only fit 12 in the, the road. So I said, well, I'm going to replace that to 12 at this point. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until after I made that decision that I read the report on this that more or less said you needed to go 16 from Maine all the way up north. But depending on, and that was before they switched to duplexes instead of triplexes. So there's a lot of stuff that was missing in between. The 16 gave us 1,000 yards, right? <laughs> right. 12 brings it to 750. So if 750 is all you need, then I'm still fine with going with the 12 there. I agree. 16 would be better, but until I can get ownership of this property behind us so that we own the property on the side of the bridge so I can put it externally to the bridge, then I'll at least go with the 12 and get us a step in the right direction. Because like I said, you had that in the 2009 20-year uh, plan. You had listed that as 12, and then 12 down Gilbo Street, 12 up Wall Street. And then I assumed at some point if we Went up that end of Gilboa and over to Mechanic Street, and we changed that from 6 to 12, that would kind of offset the difference. So I guess we're going to get back to the topic <coughs> of uh, yeah, we'll that discussion we'll probably have to be had at some point, but I think we're back to the consulting and what the, you know, what, what the board wants to do and what right. so wants to do. The topic is, at least the discussion here, is whether or not Stantec should do both sides. I would disagree with it myself. Well, but I don't understand what both sides are. I mean, I, I think the goal is to, to look at the issue and to come up with a solution. I mean, I, just, I don't know why it's adversarial. Well, I, I agree with you, but if everybody was honest and upfront, I'm not saying that any of you are not, you wouldn't have a job. <laughs> I mean, the, the, there'd be no lawyers if everybody did everything that, that's just the way it should be. So. <laughs> So I have to look out for the town's best interest and the water department's best interest. I'm not a contractor. I don't have anything to do with your project. I'm for your project. I want to promote your project, but I have to look out for the best interest. You sell a product, we want to buy it. <laughs> That's what we're trying to and do. We, we want you to look out for the town's interest, and we want to do what the, I mean, this whole project was designed to help the town. I, mean, the, I agree, the, which is why the we've been trying to be, you know, we we tried to be as helpful as we can tower. all the way along the way. We have to give you the water tower parcel, you know, it, it, it's, we're trying to work with the town, okay, and give the town what it is they need, uh, not only for this project, but for the, for the development of this part of the, of the town. I mean, that, that was the purpose of the water tower. I mean, there was never a question that we needed the water tower. The, the issue was always, if you're going to develop the Pine uh, property, you're going to need a water tower. And where are you going to put it? And we have the land where you can put it. So, one of the problems that arise since then is the storage capacity now. Yeah, we already see that. Yeah. So even if we put a storage tank up there, they wouldn't allow it because we wouldn't. Yeah, I can't put a storage up. tank until I get more use. Right. Well, you and if I get much more use, then I got to get a new permit because they cut our permit. So I don't have enough. We can't even withdraw enough water to exceed. The capacity we have now. Well, you're going to put the 12 inch line for the tank, anyways. I don't think you, you would put a tank up there if you didn't know, at least. Oh, you could. You'd still, if you ran 12 off of that around the loop this way, you'd still provide sufficient flow to that. So, but again, that's not what we're going really to discuss. So. <clears throat> we would like to use Stantec, it's the engineering firm we started with. They were our engineer that started this project and the one we're most comfortable with. I've talked to a couple of other people. It's, first of all, it's hard to find anybody who can do this. And 
we have the most confidence in them. The few people I have talked to, I have very little confidence in them. So I work for a contractor and there's dozens of engineering firms out there that, that yeah. people use all the time. I agree. There's Western and Sanford firms out there that can do that. Right right peers. But it, as long as the town's interest is protected, <clears throat> No, I think yes. that's you know, now that we've had this discussion, mm -hmm. um, you know, my opinion is I don't have a problem moving forward um, with the design of a, of a booster station or whatever other improvements might be needed. <clears throat> as long as you understand that we're going to be working closely with Bob and, and talking about what Bob's requirements are, and certainly we will review those with you also. Mm -hmm. And like I said, as long as we have had this discussion, uh, I'm okay with moving forward and designing a booster or whatever other improvements are needed. We feel the same way. We want a good product. It's a product we have to look after while we're building it. It's going to be privately owned by the Homeowners Association. And oh, until it is. we're out of there, yeah. Oh, okay. Until we're out of there, we own it. Yeah, we're not going to own it. You're not going to own it or operate it. Correct. No. But I've seen uh, that happen a thousand times too with developments where they go belly up and you got 15 houses in there. And this is different. It's the condominiums and 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 I understand that, but it's 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 one property. That their condo complex is all over the place too. I, I might even have my list of them in the back room. I, I could pull them up where they fought over it. The, the condo complex said, well, we're not doing anything with it. And the town or someone else ends up having to take ownership of it. <clears throat> we have a pump station we're in litigation with right now over that's not ours. <laughs> so things happen. It's just I want to make sure the town's protected and we don't end up with something that we wouldn't put in ourselves if we're going to end up with it. Not that we intend to end up with it or there's any, should be any chance of us ending up with it, but that's just the way it works. We agree something. with all of that. It's, it's one of the reasons I way prefer you go and grab it. I'm sure you guys would have preferred to go grab it. It's not, it's not that speak. conversation. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one that's yeah. not happy about it. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. I'm still happy. I've been able to get the increase in water. I mean, I'm fine with that. If you guys are fine with it, I think maybe if you if you, if you get to a crossroads and you think it's not going to maybe issues that are larger than what we're discussing at the table, then you say, okay, well, this is what we got. I think we would need to come back and have another right. discussion, that's all. Right. Okay. Well, I, you know, we're fine with, with the concept that you guys are representing the town. Or, or, okay. You know, yep. we, we don't have a problem. So if you, you want, you know, if you design it, that it's something that works for the town, that's fine. See, I, I thought this was a booster station that you were going to take over and operate. And well, no, that was now the case, I'm so hearing. Yeah, yeah no, it's good. Yeah. So I would have said I wanted you guys designing it for us to begin with instead of somebody else designing it, you guys reviewing their design. <coughs> if it was one that we were going to own, then yeah, I would want us to design it, not them. So. Yeah, I, I think the first issue to resolve is can we get 750 gallons a minute? up there with a booster station, or do we need a booster and a pipe? Right, so I think, you know, we revisit our letter. We've got to revisit the letter, report, and... See what, um, what the model says. You know, if, I mean, if it hasn't if been you, any you try sucking 750 gallons out of that not pipe, the suction pressure's going to go, and the pump's going to shut off. The pump's going to shut down, and all yeah. the people on North Street are going to lose pressure. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be in violation for dropping below 20th Street. <clears throat> now, if you had a if you had a fire pump that only turned on in the event of a fire emergency, what's I mean, obviously you're going to have a short-term issue with uh, flows in the, in the adjacent neighborhoods. Whenever that fire pump turns on, it could potentially be a problem. Um, Both for the residents on North Street. And for your pump, if it can't supply enough, it's going to shut down. So now you're going to be in a situation where you're saying you have a fire pump that will provide 750 gallons a minute, and it doesn't. Now there's 
you know, in my opinion, a liability issue where you have something that you say is going to produce 750 gallons a minute and it really can. <clears throat> Again, that's not my concern. It's not my area, but... but did I hear that the development was changed from uh, triplexes to duplexes? It's duplexes. Correct. It's duplexes that are at least 31, 31 feet, feet apart. apart. Was, was, so was that to change the required fire flow to 750? Yes, mm -hmm. okay. I believe that was in your report. It did, I, I might have asked this already, but it, it, are you fully built out right now? No. No. No, no phase okay. one. Only phase one. So they, they put a stipulation in the permit that they could build so many houses, and once they hit a certain number, they have to build a booster station. I see. But they're building a booster station that really won't do anything because you don't have the upgrades in the infrastructure. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I want to go back and revisit based on that report that we issued before. And, I, and I'll ask the same question again. There's been no improvements on North Street or... The what? only one we are doing is, like I said, yeah, 300 is, feet, a 12 inch right here, and right so here. replace eight inch, but it's only because they're doing the culvert work and they're gonna collapse it and we gotta change the 40 foot section. I said, well, while you got the bridge shut down, I wanna get across the bridge. <clears throat> There's no sense in not doing that. So we don't have to shut the bridge okay. down for another project so by the middle of next month there'll be 300 feet of 12 12 as opposed to eight. well that's good he's, 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 <laughs> it's a step in the right direction yes you still got the bottleneck from here to main street yeah <clears throat> and then from here from Gilboa I'm assuming we that's the problem even if you change that 12 inch main yeah, it's only about an hour from Connie here so <laughs> did, that's what we had figured right hmm? from main street to Gilboa and well, those, the next phase there's so three projects. There was the North Street one here from Maine to Gilboa. Right. From Gilboa to the Mill parking lot. Mm -hmm. And then from Gilboa up North Street. Those are the three that were listed in the plan. So, you know, our, our comp permit was done eight, nine years ago. Okay, with the assumptions at the time. And I think one of the assumptions <coughs> improvements to the system because the town was interested in trying to develop some industrial land. So it was, you know, on right. that on that understanding that we that we did it. Um, is it, again the, the permit provides that we can in the alternative provide eighty two thousand dollars to the town for for water improvements. Uh, as I pointed out at the last meeting, we've got uh, it, this is a hundred and twenty four unit project, and uh, of which 93 of them are market rate units, and we're paying uh, sewer connection fees on all 93 uh, units. So, you know, we're gener it, it'll generate for the town $700,000 in, in connection fees. So, you know, I, Two -thirds in, terms of, in, in terms of being able to, you know, provide some method of maybe funding improvements to North Street, I mean, I think that's, a, that's something to consider. Well, you have to look at that fee, <laughs> not just by the amount that you're paying, because it was set up, not by me, that 5000 goes into a sewer development fee, 2500 goes into a water development fee. I, I, so I, I can't take from that. one fund to fund a water project out of one that was designed to go into a sewer fund. So take two thirds of what you just had for a number, and that's you're, you're really working. Understood, with I guess, good, I guess but the, it's something. the point is, the point is that the project <coughs> is providing revenue to the town. I mean, it's and the situation with the eight-inch line in North Street is is there regardless. I mean, Pond Street isn't protected with you know adequate fire protection now. So, well, uh, eighty percent of the town. Right. Well, exactly. 80%, exactly right. Exactly right. Yeah. Exactly right. So is it any different? So, I, you know, again, we're open to, to we're open. You know, we're, tell us what you want to do. Um, I think, I think Dennis was on the right direction. I think, I think he could take a look at it and he's willing to do that. Mm -hmm. And then if he thinks there's something larger, then obviously the discussion has to be had. And again, and say, look, this is where we, we feel. And there may be an issue at that point. And then, you know, 
Probably. So, so if we move forward with this, we'd be working for you. Mm -hmm. So we develop a contract with you, mm -hmm. and um, I, you know, I think that's doable. Right. That's and, and, and gonna, okay. Yeah, and act on the best interest of the town. Right. In, in the design of that for. So what are your options on having a pump station trigger for a fire? design pump stations. Well, maybe have them review it first and then... I'm just saying, I just... Yeah. I don't know, maybe there's what one will, that I don't know. What of. event will turn that pump station on? Yeah. I, it, I can only think um, low pressure. Forward pressure. Yeah. So either one. Fire department goes up there, opens up some hydrants, drops the pressure, and the fire pump will kick on. Yeah. Or if they run mm -hmm. a flow test without telling us... It could turn the fire it's gonna pump kick on. That on. Or if you have a main break, it could <coughs> turn the fire pump on. Right. Is there a way to regulate, if you know what the flows are, if everyone, if you, when you do all the, the flow checks in, it says, okay, the, it's capable of producing just round numbers, 500 gallons a minute. Could you, is there a variable where you could, we, as if, say the line gets increased later on, if you build a design a pump to meet what's currently there to get the flow, say it's 500 gallons a minute. And if the line was increased, something could be changed in that in that station to, without a big a substantial expense to, to redesign something. When you make those types of improvements, you might have to change the pump because mm -hmm. now you're dealing with different head conditions and different available flows and, and so so on. So um, the, the only design. way you could do what you're saying is to put in VFD pumps. You put it in the settings to stop at eighty percent of flow or 80% of pump speed and then when you upgrade your infrastructure you change that limit back up but you over design the pumps now yeah for a future instance you I guess, I mean, I'm just trying to figure out a solution for the problem we have today I mean everything's been approved everything's done however we got to this point however that what was missed or wasn't looked at or whatever the case may be I mean they've already developed right. is substantially Oh, I I'm agree just, with you. I'm, I'm just trying to think of a way that we I don't can like the whole scenario. I mean, I mean, Where's the 750 gallons a minute come from? Is that for uh, that's an every ISO. two flexors on fire? It's an ISO. ISO uh, it's NFPA. Yeah. I think it's NFPA. It's the National Fire Code. The, and it's the based insurance on ISO, service, insurance. ISO Insurance Services Office sets the criteria for various required yeah, fire flow criteria. depending on the building they're construction got, um, they're going to figure the fire flow if six buildings are on fire which is probably next to impossible well no but that's why no. it's set so that it's if it's a single a single family a duplex a triplex it meets different yeah. criteria then it's based on how many feet apart that's why they you went know, to uh, 31 feet apart with a duplex makes it more right similar to a single family materials that, materials so construction so will determine the fire flow whether the building is sprinklered right. will determine the number of hot fire hydrants available um, yeah if you have how a close the building is to each other feet and, you know. that all goes into this equation that insurance services i offices and that's how they set the required fire flows and if you don't meet those required fire flows that's when your insurance rates go up so first identify we'll identify what the issues are at hand i think yeah, the then, first thing i would like to do is review the report right and then get back on track with and it's been a long time since you 10 years we were just gina and i were just looking at the 10 years 10 years yeah. So and, I think and then after we review that, I, I don't know if we need to do a little bit of a study again. Uh, you know, well, you I, just I, said you had just had the study. I think I think, oh, you, I think the, you just we had the hydrant test. They did a flow test. They did a flow test, test which is good. Um, I think what, I think yeah. just I think the best thing is to brush up on all the information that you currently have that you've done. And then see what's lacking, or, or if you can make a make a decision based right. on, on what. And if there's something lacking or whatever, you know, we discuss it with you. Maybe that would be part of our proposal or whatever. Um, if we think a little study up front might be needed to kind of refresh, you know, this data from ten years ago and make sure it's <coughs> still accurate. Um, but that's that that we would discuss with you. 
Yeah, that all sounds great. That's Let's fine. get the conversation started and get it solved. And I don't know, has the town done any hydrant flow studies in town since no. 2004? So that might be the first thing no. we want to do is kind of cite a few. So the last, the last one was done up there, right? Yeah. I, I have this from 2004. Okay. Is that done by FST? Uh, I don't know. I got it from the town. I'm, I'm guessing I, I that's probably what was probably. done when you guys did the 20-year um, master plan. No, actually, I don't know that name. Yeah, I don't. This was done, I think, by the insurance services office. They come into town and they, did, they'll do I some mean, flow we, tests. We've done many, many. I thought I've, I've, I thought the master I've seen some like work there to the master plans. It was some flow tests. There are some at the end of the master plan. And for this, we yes. did you know, mm -hmm. three or four. I know we four. came in and did flow tests, but what's the date of the master plan? 2009. Nine. So I guess you could, you could freshen up and everything and then kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think that's at this point I'd, we've got to sit down and review the previous report mm -hmm. right. so my concern is is that you're going to design a station I know you guys aren't going to design one that's not going to work so you're going to say the line needs to be 12 inch but if you put a 12 inch you don't need the booster station we just want to start the conversation <laughs> yeah, and then we'll, could, we'll get and somewhere. Let's talk about, yeah, 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 let's once, talk about if it could just be a vein put in a no booster, I'm all for it. Once we get back into the middle, if we can figure out something else, we'll you know, yeah. investigate that too. To Dennis's point, a little we, study might help. We, to we still have the hydraulic model we did for the town, so we can model some scenarios with uh, different size pipes and, and, and so forth. We can also model a booster station. And, Okay. And I'm sure that's what we did to produce that report. Yeah. Some of that. Yeah. So. Um, so okay. Everybody, everybody agree with that. Okay. Everybody okay. agree with that. That's fine. Absolutely. Yeah. So we can interface directly with Dennis. Yeah. And then he'll, he'll, and then he'll actually he'll interface with Gina. With Gina. Yeah. Because as a Friday, I'm retired. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. Should have got a second guy now. He's retired from us. <laughs> I am. I am Bill Glover retired. Still um, staying on. And you're still here, Bob. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I mean, if you have a business card, you might want to give it to Gina. <coughs> I'm sure Gina and I will be discussing this. And That's, so tomorrow's your last day. And then Gina, you'll last you'll Friday communicate with us yep. on, 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 on a regular basis. So last Friday, he's yeah. right now, Josie. I'm, I'm kind of. I'm out doing construction inspection now. We have a project out in Spencer. Sewer, oh, thank you. sewer and drainage. Should we close the meeting, I guess? Yes, yeah, so I make a motion to uh, close the meeting at uh, 356. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.